All right, what's up guys? Hope you guys are having an awesome day. Welcome back to another PlayStation Broncos CFM series episode. Should be two really competitive games. They're going to come down to the wire, both of them. So hope you guys enjoy this episode. If you guys do, please hit that subscribe button. We are so close to 23,000 subscribers. And with that being said, let's go ahead and jump into the rest of the episode. So some big news right here. We actually have a message from Zadarius Smith, our breakout player. Now, unfortunately, my favorite dev upgrade is Star to Superstar, getting those abilities for the first time, but getting the possibility for an X Factor is always cool. I actually didn't really feel like Zadarius has been playing that well for me. Him and Donald Bo, so both of those guys, I haven't felt a huge impact. Obviously, the game disagrees. Zadarius Smith, I accidentally just blazed right through those messages. I did not mean to click X that quickly. But Zadarius Smith is going to get an X Factor breakout game. Super exciting stuff right here. Let's go ahead and take a look at our roster. I know it's probably been a while. Nothing too drastic has changed. We have Godwin, Elijah Moore, Marshall, and Batson at receiver. We have Trent Brown here at right tackle. Taylor Throne, Janu, and Balaj at running back. And then on defense, again, everything's the same. I didn't really make any trades in this league. And obviously, you don't really need to during a fantasy draft. Like, you just draft the guys you want to. We have Yidam. We have Stokes, Brown, Holman, Smith, Donald. All these guys have been playing really well for me. Week 12 right here against the Saints. This guy is 6-3, and three, I believe. So, he's actually got a really solid record. We are currently 7-3 and three atop the division. This is a big game for us. We probably have one of the sweatiest, if not the sweatiest, not only divisions, but entire schedules in the game. So let's go ahead, lock into this game, get the dub, and make it 8-3. and three. Okay, first of all, who is his running back, and why did he make him look like Eric Dickerson? It looks literally exactly like him. This guy might have way too much time on his free hands, but he's fighting like Eric Dickerson, falling forward. And I'm going to be honest, I just had flashbacks of Madden 20, X Factor, Freight Train 100, Eric Dickerson just running for 300 yards of me. And honestly, I'm just in a bad mood right now. Well, I accidentally ran commit, and thankfully he didn't have a single streak on the field. Oh my god, get your feet in bounds! Alright, I'm a little frustrated. I don't know how I'm not getting any pressure. Again, I've been telling you guys that Darius Smith and Aaron Donald are going against a no-ability offensive line. Like, they should be eating on every single play. And look who it is. Aaron Donald. He gets some pressure, but it's not quick enough. I gotta guard that with my user. And Darren Waller's into the end zone. I was too busy complaining about my pass rush and, and didn't focus on the wide open crosser over the middle of the field with the tight end. That's completely my fault. Aaron Donald did in fact shed that play. Wide open is Terrace Marshall. Oh my goodness, why did you hit me so hard? Slant is open. Elijah Moore, that's a tough catch. Way to hang on to it, kid. Backside dig, Chris Gowan, my favorite route in the game. Please get it. Oh my goodness, we had the backside dig for a touchdown. He gave it up back to back plays. And as our arm is coming forward, I don't even know who hit us. All over the delay fade. He goes deep for the crosser. That is too difficult of a throw. Third and ten. We got to get off the field. All right. I'm looking for my boys right here. Zadarius Smith and Aaron Donald. I need pressure. We got to watch for Wall over the middle. He's going to go to a curl route. He... Oh, my goodness. I thought he caught that for a second. We got the pressure. I think it was Donald who got it. And he almost makes the most ridiculous catch ever with Stephon Diggs. Aaron Donald, I was asking for you. Showed up big time, kid. One more time on fourth, please. All right, audible down. You know what? If this guy runs, if this guy runs the ball on fourth and ten, he's got it. He's not gonna do it though. He's got the post. He was throwing a pick, but we get the pressure. It might have been Donald again. We get the ball back after the fumble. It's time to get the rock in the end zone. We gotta tie this game up. 
We have the touchdown wide open. We get it in the end zone. I saw it a second too late, but it gets there perfectly. Terrace Marshall with a beautiful, beautiful toe tap animation. We tied the game up. It's time to get back on defense. I might have missed the extra point. His kick is no good. I I'm gonna lose. I'm gonna lose the game by one. It's over. I, I don't even know what the point of playing the rest of this game out. I, I, I already lost. There's no way I can win now. I'm gonna. It's destiny. I'm gonna lose by one. Ooh, that's a nice dot down the sideline to Waller. I like the defense though. It looked like everything was bad. Ooh, let's get the pressure. The 146 is too good. I don't know why this guy is continuing to run against it. This is a huge mistake from my opponent, but it's one I can certainly live with. In a motion over. We're all over the post. I did not think he was going to throw it to various more. Can we? Oh, I almost made him miss by turning back to the right. Wow. Well, that's not ideal. I think we had the crosser breaking open. We just get the most wildly inaccurate pass I've ever seen. Pressure and accurate. All right, let's get some pressure right here, Aaron. Where's my guy Aaron at, man? Where's Aaron? Where's Aaron? Oh, pick! Oh, Robinson! Donald! Donald! Oh, pick it! Oh, my goodness! Yeah, dumb! Head on a swivel! What an interception! I can't believe that we ended up getting that, but I will absolutely take it. I'm going to go for a cover three beater here. I think he's in zone again. That's exactly what it is. We got the running back wide open. John will make a big catch for us. 26 seconds. I'm taking my first time out. I wonder if he might blitz here. I would not be surprised. He hasn't blitzed yet. I'm waiting for him to mix it in at some point. He hasn't done it. Marshall, get her feet in bounds. We do. We stop the clock. 14 seconds. One time out from the 12. I'm going similar route combo right here. I would not be surprised to see man coverage. That's exactly what we get. Backside crosser, what a laser. We highball it over the corner who is in front of the receiver. And Chris Godwin makes a beautiful catch, beautiful toss. One of the cleanest dots you will see all season long. I wasn't paying attention. I just wasn't thinking. And I gave up a touchdown with one second left before I have. What am I actually doing right now? I don't know what I'm doing right now. I really don't know. It's going to be a pick. It's got to be a pick. Loves what? Complete to Darren Waller. Touchdown, New Orleans. We're going to feel Batson. Oh, my goodness. We take a huge hit. I need the first down. Option route wide open. We get an accurate throw. It looked a little errant for a second, but Jonu makes a huge catch. He's back to the man coverage. Wow. Well, we probably lost this game, boys. Acrobat goes crazy. You know, we just didn't play very well. So honestly, I don't. I probably don't deserve it. I'm gonna run commit right here though, because I, I feel like he's probably gonna run. That's exactly what he does. We can still get the ball back. We still have a chance. I need some pressure here from Donald. It's now or never for Donald and Zadarius Smith. He's going to the same route combo he's gone to a million times. It's just not open. Stokes this time is gonna catch it. Last time we got dunked on. Post wide open, and this time Godwin is going to get the separation we need. Darius Slade is not. Superman jump from five yards away and make the pick. 
The only problem is we need we need two points right here. I don't know how we're gonna do it, boys. I think I think we gotta go to the trusty old wrap. If we don't get it though, it's not necessarily the end of the world. We'll run the wrap. We get pretty good blocking. I thought he might have said it. If we went straight up the middle, I think we get stopped. We take it outside. The blocks on the right side are tremendous, and we tie the game up. Two minutes and thirty seconds left. pressure from Zadarius Smith we almost get the sack it brings up a second and 10 though some great defense I'm getting pretty risky I'm leaving the running back wide open we'll guard him if he goes out on his own route wow we ran with that we ran with that right off the rip and he still he was gonna test my user we peeled off right as he threw it he was gonna test my user <sighs> risky pass very risky pass I can absolutely live with that if we continue to make him make reads like that he's gonna turn the ball over again Wow, don't break the tackle. Oh, please don't let him break the tackle right there, boys. All right, well, that's a big completion for him. We are not looking too great right now. I'm going to have to use our Elijah Moore right here and stop that flat myself. He's going to run the ball. We get the tackle here. I'm not going to waste my timeouts. This is a this is a tough decision. I'm not going to use my timeouts just for the reason that he's not in field goal range yet. So I think it's smart to go ahead and save that. I think he's going to have to pass the ball if he wants to get in field goal range. All right, we got to watch Waller. Waller's been his main go-to read on that post route. It's pretty much the only thing he's got. That and the crosser, but the crosser has yet to be open. Wow, that should have been a pick. Third and 10. I'm going to go ahead and use my timeout right here. That should have been an interception. He just threw a drag into a hard flat. My guy, unfortunately, just did not react. Tough break for us right there, but honestly, you know, honestly, we're fine. We're fine. We're absolutely fine. I'm going to send the dogs right here. I got to send a little blitz. I got to get him. You know, he's borderline field goal range. I think with the wind, he's out of it right now, but I need to get, I need to get a sack right here, boys. I need a sack right here. Pick the ball up. Aaron Donald to the crib. Let's go. Oh my goodness, boys. We're gonna scoop and score. Now I could have gone down. I could have tried to take the clock with me. But again, my, my field goal kicking is atrocious. I'm gonna just take my seven. We've been playing great defense. He's not comfortable passing. What a huge play on defense. Let's get one more stop and seal the victory. That was a nice dot. Risky, risky. He really loves this play. It's just not at all open. I clicked on to run out of bounds to swerve back in. That way we could get our feet in bounds and the interception. And my player went out of bounds and just completely froze. I don't know what that was, but honestly, he almost got dunked on again. Okay, we're fine. Stop complaining. Just lock in. Get a stop, bro. He's throwing it right at you on every play. Ogba in the area. Okay, just put your hands out, Ogba. Aaron Donald, make a play, young man. Oh, yeah, Robinson. Oh, yeah, Robinson. Seal the game. Oh, my goodness. What a roller coaster of emotions that game. We played so bad, but we clutched it out in the end. GG's to the Saints user. Let's go. Is that Winowich getting a sack? Let's go, kid. Oh, that's got to be a pick six. He threw straight into a hard flat. He had all day, and I literally sent everyone. I don't even know how that just happened. Uh, he goes for the fade down the side. That was the first time I ran cover two. That was a nice dot. Oh, my goodness. I blocked six people. He sent five, and he just absolutely screams. Can we please block someone? That is a dot to Elijah Moore. He gets his feet in bounds too. Let's go.
Oh, we throw an interception. Can we please make a tackle? Andrews, run faster. Oh, we're going to throw a pick six. That is so brutal. I, I got to throw that a little bit earlier, but that's a tough pick to throw. Second and five at the 30-yard line. Gawain. Ooh, fight. No. Oh, Gawain. Let's go. Gawain to the races. He had some crazy fight. I thought I messed up the juke, but it works out perfectly. And we're into the end zone for seven. What a crazy play from Chris Godwin. Honestly, that was an insane fight. Ooh, my guy was following that. He was following him perfectly and then just completely stopped for no reason. I don't know what that was. He actually QB sneaks from two yards out. I think he's going to be short. He is, in fact, short. Fourth and one. If he's smart, I feel like he takes his three right here, but he's going to come out on goal line, which I think is a mistake. And honestly, this is exactly what I want him to do. We got to make sure we get a stop right here, though. The QB sneaks again, and we have people there, but no one makes contact with him. He's going to get the first down. He actually runs the ball again, but Ogba is doing a great job at defensive tackle. And I feel like we've been moving the ball pretty easily. You know, we made the one bad read. It resulted in a pick six, which was huge. We're kind of getting dotted up here on defense as well. I really haven't played this formation a lot. When I played this guy earlier in the season, he actually ran the U-trips. We were bagging that up. So he switched offenses against me. I'm going to have to figure something out here in the second half, but I'm liking the way we're playing. Let's go ahead, get some points here right out of half, and let's make it a game. We have a wide open touchdown and we get hit as we throw. Ooh, let's get there. Oh, Donna, what? No way. Make the tackle, make the tackle. I don't know if he's in field goal range. He's probably going to go for it either way. Got to get off the field if we want a chance at winning this game. Perfect defense. Nothing open. And oh my goodness, that honestly could have been a pick six. He throws straight into a hard flat. Well, we get the stop regardless. I will not complain too much. Let's go ahead. We get a second chance of points here. Got to make it count. All right. Well, fourth and five. We didn't play very good offense so far this drive. We got a chance to get off the field. Or, well, not, not get off the field. We definitely don't want to get off the field here. We got to make sure we go ahead, pick up this conversion. We need points. We need points bad. Wide open on the route bounce is Marshall. That is a great find. Honestly, it was pretty good defense. I was kind of expecting a blitz. We find the open player. We move the chains. Oh, we had circle wide open. I pressed the button and we accidentally spin. That would have been an absolute laser too. Would have been a huge conversion, but now we're going to have to go ahead. Just take our three, and honestly, you guys know how bad I am at kicking, but that one's going to be right down the middle. We make it a one-possession game, but holy smokes, we had a dot. I got to be able to throw that. I think I just stepped up too far in the pocket. We played good defense last drive. Let's do it again. Ooh, Donald is having a good second half. Let's go, baby. And we dropped the double team interception. That cannot be the read. Oh, that is killer. Zadarius, let's go, kid. We get our much deserved turnover. We got to get seven now. We have not been playing great offense this game. The defense has been carrying us in the second half. And that's a dot right there. Terrace Marshall, six foot four. He is a red zone threat. We are right back in the game. Ladies and gentlemen, one more stop on defense, and we're going to win this game. Oh, he throws a pick six, and it goes right through our hands again. We are all over this guy on defense. Can we please get our deserved turnover? Let's go. Zadarius Smith is popping up late in this game, and he is popping up huge for us. It's now third down. <sighs> Big tackle right there. Third and 16. I tried to get out there with my user, but we just missed. Woo! Clay 
Okay, Brooks, take it for six. Oh, we get tackled. We are playing some great defense right now, ladies and gentlemen. Janu, fight forward. Oh, Janu almost got out of there. Oh, we got to get the first down right there, Janu. Let's go, Janu, Janu. Oh, Janu, Janu, get up. Oh, my. I don't know how he stayed up on his feet for that long. Well, ice doesn't really matter when you're like six yards out. We get the job done. A crazy comeback. We did not play that well in the first half. Honestly, we didn't play that great of offense really throughout the game. The defense just stepped up big time in the second half. We have a huge comfort behind victory. That is going to be a huge dub for us as well because now we're pretty likely to win the division. Let's go ahead, jump out of here, see what upgrades we get, and see where we stand in the division currently. All right, boys, we get some good upgrades here. Taylor Throne getting an upgrade 97 overall with the morale boost, break sack, throw deep accuracy, throw on the run as well. Terrace Marshall, he got a huge touchdown for us. He's going to get the deep threat as well. 20 years old. This guy is one of the glitches in that new 2021 class. He's already up to an 88 overall. Janu Smith has been playing great for us at running back. 86 overall for Janu. He gets a ton of upgrades. It's usually pretty useless stuff like lead block and pass block, which we don't really care that much about. But to various more getting an upgrade as well. One of our main two users, him and Stokes, have been so great for me all season. Hoping for some speed. Uh, TJ Ward, my... Oh, why is TJ Ward my punter? Why is he a 32 overall? I don't know how that happened, but it did happen. Batson getting an upgrade here as well. Again, not really a guy who plays a huge role, but every now and then we ask him to, to make a play. And he gets plus one speed, which is amazing. 95 speed for Cameron Batson. This guy started the season with like 93. He's got two speed upgrades. He's actually lightning quick. He's right up there with my other receiver, Elijah Moore. And then let's go ahead. Our general manager is going to go ahead and congratulate us. We locked up a postseason spot. But that does not mean we are done just yet. Next week, we have a game against the Raiders, which I believe if we win that, we will lock up the division. We actually might have it locked up regardless. We are 12 and three. And look how good our division was. Nine and six, eight and six, and eight and six. And we have ran the table with the entire division. And those guys still have that record. So that just speaks to the quality of the parity, the competitiveness in the AFC West. We got the job done though. I'm gonna close it out in week 17. I will see you guys then. I appreciate you guys for watching. I will see you guys next time. Peace.